Hey everyone, it's me, Alfie, and uh, I'm going to be doing the new story chapter of Lufenia, the, the two Sanctuary Keepers. Uh, yeah, a global video, and not just any global video, <laughs> a, a commentated global video. I'm going to be doing Mog, Vaughn, and Porum. It's a more battery-oriented comp. Surprise, surprise. Uh, this is a difficult Lufenia stage. It is very, very lethal. And uh, there's a lot of debuffs going around. Overall, it's in, it's very hard. Okay. So my general strategy is to use, um, or not use, is closer to 50% nuke is to nuke one of them down, so I can kill them. When they reach 50%, they do Kiraga, which is a very very big heal. Uh, on a failed recording, uh, I totally forgot how much it healed, so. The big heal really threw me off, and I ended up missing up, missing the turn count. So, my strategy is to nuke one of them down when we reach that 50% threshold, and then uh, hopefully kill it, and then summon, and then focus on the other one with my Tifa support. So we'll see if uh, it all works out. Will this run get uploaded? Or will it be lost in the void of failed runs? Who knows? Who knows? But, uh... Or actually, I, I'll know, because if you... This will, get up, this will get uploaded, if it does work out. <laughs> okay... I think there's an HP attack. Very, very lethal. So if either of the bosses do 10 turns, if 10 turns pass with, without either one of the bosses getting to act, then uh, they'll inflict their warping debuff on your party, and it's a very, very nasty debuff. Pair this with the orb and the, uh, the amount of lethal HP attacks they do, and it, it's, it's a very difficult fight. Okay, yeah, let's use LD here. If you don't have a cleanser, you can do six framed buffs on your party. That's the run I did, or that's the method I did back on JP when this stage initially released. Uh, on JP, I did Cloud of Darkness, Arciella, and Rosa. The only cleansing I had was uh, Yuna Call, which is only her regular call. So that is, if you don't have any form of cleansing, that is a call you can use for the starting debuffs. So let's focus down on B. I put the dodge. That's nice. So my goal is sort of to have at least four frame debuffs on my party, which is why I brought Leviathan Summon for another frame buff slot because uh, Mog's, Mog's cleansing is only two at a time. So with four frame buffs, I don't have to worry about not cleansing enough with mod. Okay, there's that threshold. All those brave hits. One HP dump. Thanks, Mog. I've never used Mog, so I have no idea what I'm doing with him. <laughs> I, have, I have no idea how to use Mog, so if I'm playing him wrong, I apologize. Dodge, nice. Oh, they did, they did delay themselves after the recast as well. Oh.
Lowers chance of gaining buffs, okay. At first, I thought their freeze debuff was like Setzer's, but uh, it, it was actually just lowered speed and also um, your EX is not recharged. Oh, cool, the Confuse on B. Nice. My bond has no arts because I am a lazy boy. We're getting close to that 50% threshold on B, so B is gonna do Kiraga, and then that's when I'll burst with Vaughn. I'm gonna melt B as fast as I can. Get the, let's get Gabranth on there, and then do I want to refresh my buff early? Don't want to refresh my oldie buff early. Now nah, we're good. Okay, so yeah. B did his. Moi Tovan's next turn for uh, to use his burst. Haha, <laughs> the dodge, let's go for him. She was safe anyway because of the last stand, but you, you love to see it. Okay, this is perfect. Actually, no wait, no, that is perfect. Okay. We're gonna... Yeah, let's use Hope Call. I can cleanse, which will give that one buff slot to Vaughn. Oh, and Vaughn already has. Vaughn already still has a buff slot. All right, he's fine. This just have a little bit of extra stats for Vaughn. And yes, let's nuke B as fast as I can. S1 might actually be better in this case because of its, uh, it gives refund on like the S2. Part of me was considering Kamelot Call for the refund as well. Oh 
and we're gonna summon, because I really want to kill B. Look at that battery. Okay. Our shaving ain't that our shaving isn't the best, but um Poor Room's Brave Gain Up is really really helping out here. I was thinking about using him as two to get some extra damage in, but uh, let's use an LD instead. Yeah, let's just dump the brave. Damage. Okay, that's fine. That see that that unlimited duration debuff is HP damage up. We do have party last stand, so don't have to worry about dying. Cool, look confused. so she doesn't get debuffed. Okay, Monk and Cleanse. Perfect. Hopefully I can kill B before Kiragas again. Come on, don't cure Aga yet, B. You're almost dead. Don't cure Aga yet. Oh, poor him just needs her turn. Don't cure Aga. Please kill. I didn't kill. Will Splash kill? Okay, Splash will kill. That's good. We're gonna... Yeah, just let's just S2. I'm gonna swap Vaughn now. You know, that is fine.
Thanks, Theological, you and your Tifa. <laughs> S2 on Tifa. That way she has four frame buffs. Alright, no no confused, big rip. <laughs> oh my god. Blue armor Tifa. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Yeah, I'll be able to meet Trank out for sure. Yeah, Tifa is still dumb. DPS, man. Just as dumb as I remember it back on uh, JP. Okay, let's use LB here. And then I need to use Cabran's Call. Proton Wings. That is A okay. I still have some time until next Kiraga. Go for the most part. Oh, cool, the confuse. Oh, now we're getting damage. <laughs> the confuse from Forum. <laughs> Double confuse. Confused and unable to act. Confused again! Let's go! I'm getting all those confused RNG now. And there we go, that's a wrap. Vaughn, Poro, Mog. Mod's pretty fun. Yeah, this is a hard stage. This is a pretty, really, pretty difficult stage. Then again, juggling around the debuffs. Uh, I wasn't. I'm not used to that on this stage. Um, six. I, in my opinion, six framed buffs is way easier. Also, look at that Vaughn with no arts. <laughs> I'm lazy. That that's just my opinion. I think six frame buffs is a lot easier for the fight. Because then that removes like half the fight. Because <laughs> you just have to worry about surviving at that point. Of course, your damage, your damage output is still really, really important because that that Kiraga it heals a lot and it puts you on like a pretty. I don't know how much. I don't know how many turns it is. I didn't look into it, but uh, it does put you on the pretty big timer. Otherwise, you're gonna miss the turn count. So anyway, there you have it, guys. 
that's my run of the Sanctuary Keeper Lupinia. I got one more video with Vaughn to do, which will be on Agrius' Shinryu event. Uh, yeah, he'll have a field day on that one. And so, if you're watching that, I remembered, man. I remember my word. I, I don't go back on it. <laughs> uh, I finally have time to sit down and record. So, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed this, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye.